Hi guys, my name is Janelle and if you were anything like me before I started my minimalism journey, I always had this syndrome which I've heard called like a closet full of clothes but nothing to wear. If you don't identify with that statement at all, maybe this video isn't for you. But it's basically that feeling when you wake up in the morning, you're trying to figure out what you're going to wear that day. And your closet is full like from wall to wall, it's stuffed, you might have to like dig through the hangers just to make space to see what you're looking at. You might try on like 50 different outfits in the morning. Be like, oh, this doesn't work, so you throw something on the floor, you try something else on, you're like, oh, this doesn't work, or maybe if I pair this shirt and these pants together, and then still that feeling doesn't really work. So this video is basically for that feeling or that syndrome, whatever you want to call it, where you have lots of clothes but nothing really to wear. I used to have so many clothes that I got overwhelmed and I had a lot of decision fatigue when it came to like just getting dressed in the morning, which is something everyone has to do every single day. So just making that part of your lifestyle as easy and simple, as minimal as possible is really great. Even if you still end up having a lot of clothes, I think a lot of people can downsize a lot from what they have. So these are just some general tips to make this feeling, this syndrome, whatever you want to call it, go away. One of my first tips would be to separate your everyday clothes from maybe your seasonal, your special occasion, or whatever clothes that you don't wear, you know, on a daily basis away. Uh, maybe you might have two sections depending on what you wear for work. For me, I wear scrubs every day, and having the benefit of a uniform makes my life so much easier, and it makes me appreciate people like Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckel, whatever the Facebook guy is. Those are two people who are known for wearing the same outfit day after day after day because they know their time is better invested in getting you know things done with their business and things like that versus wasting time picking out what you want to wear going shopping trying to versify your wardrobe and all that having a uniform makes me really appreciate not having to put any thought to what i had before i get dressed a lot of people actually ask me like how does minimalism affect your job or vice versa and i'm like it really doesn't those two things are very separate i can't apply really minimalism to work and vice versa but I wear the same blue colored scrubs to work every single day and I have three pairs and I only really have to have clothes for four days out of the week and most of that's loungewear and then stuff to do yoga in. The next thing you want to remove from your wardrobe are things that obviously don't fit, won't fit, have tears, they're damaged beyond repair or they need some fitting and if you're real with yourself you're not going to go get that item fitted. Another thing that I did a lot before minimalism is that I would a huge portion of my wardrobe at the time was statement pieces or something flashy that never matched with anything else. So after minimalism, I started buying a lot more basic pieces that I can match and make several outfits with versus spending a lot or buying more statement items, which I buy a lot more sparingly now. I also spend a lot more on my everyday clothes. Something else to consider when you're building a wardrobe is if the item is comfy, are you really going to wear it? And does it make you feel confident? I don't think your wardrobe all the time has to reflect who you are on a deep personal level. Like, you know, it's just a shirt. You just need to wear clothes to go about your day and do your business. I also want my wardrobe to be versatile to where I could dress things up or dress things down fairly easily. Another thing to think about is what do you do every day? What do you do most days? Does your wardrobe actually reflect your lifestyle? If you have like a lot of cocktail dresses and you go to an, a cocktail occasion once every three months, does the percentage of your wardrobe reflect that appropriately? So just make sure that the clothes you have reflect the activities that you do the most. I also have another video on the fantasy self. If you haven't watched it, I think it's really good. I really like it. Like this idea that you buy clothes for this ideal version of you who does these things that you don't actually do right now. So check that out if that sounds interesting to you. And just to reiterate, it's really important to have that good foundation of just staple basic pieces so you can build from that. Uh, when you're going through your closet, ask yourself if there's anything that you've used less than five times in a row. And if there is, ask yourself why you have it and if you can get rid of it or at least maybe put it away and see if you look forward or reach for it in the next six months or so. If not, it's probably a good reason to get rid of it. I don't know how to phrase this, but I've noticed like with my style, I really like shirts like this, like this kind of cut, because I like my shoulders. And so it was really important that I had like the right kind of bra that fit with these shirts. And for the longest time, I had just the bras that like, where the strap would show in a shirt like this. And so look in your wardrobe and see if there's like a style that you like, but there's something in your wardrobe that gives you a gap. So figure out if there's any gaps in your wardrobe that are easy to fill that make a lot of the rest of your wardrobe easier to put on. I think another pro of having a more minimal wardrobe is that you kind of always look put together. I used to look really sloppy and I was a person who like basically wore almost pajamas to class in college which was like 
pretty common, it's not a big deal. Um, but once I started getting rid of a lot of my clothes, I was still like just as comfortable, but people would tell me like, oh, you always look nice, you always look put together. And I was like, thanks, I'm wearing the same stuff every day, it feels like. And I think that's a normal and awesome side effect of having less clothes. Uh, when you're going through your wardrobe, ask yourself if you bought the item that you're looking at only because it was on sale. That's one thing that I've noticed I've stopped buying a lot of. I won't look only at sale items and that's not like the first place I go and I tell myself if I really love a shirt enough I'm gonna buy it whether it's on sale or not. Ever since minimalism I stopped thinking of my clothes as a closet but as like a wardrobe that really fits together, things that work together. It's kind of like this puzzle. If it works in the puzzle, then I'll get it, despite the cost, unless you know it's ridiculously expensive and it's not worth it, for me at least. But yeah, just be wary if you're buying something or you own something just because it's on sale. If that's the only reason you're getting it, it's probably not worth getting it. Also, if you have a lot of multiples, maybe get rid of all of them except your favorite two. Like if you have a ton of the same color v-necks or the same color jeans, keep just your top two or something like that. If you're keeping something only because it was a present, honestly, just get rid of it. And when it comes to clothes, if someone gave something to me and I'm just not wearing it at this point, for clothes at least, I can say this person gave me this to make me feel good or to show they cared about me and I accept that feeling I know they care about me that's great but I'm going to pass this item along also try to be really mindful if you feel the need to go shopping and it's just a symptom like retail therapy well I understand retail therapy like kind of works because I've been there whenever I do go shopping and I realize I'm having some retail therapy I don't necessarily always stop myself from going but when I do go I'm mindful of my shopping list that's always kind of in the back of my head I'm mindful of the gaps that I have in my wardrobe and so that when I do go shopping I'm still looking for very specific things that are gonna fill a gap or replace something that's starting to wear out and I'm not just buying as much as I can and regretting everything that I buy later on Try to see if there's something in common about the clothes that you try on and skip over. For example, if you're looking for a work outfit but you never wore this one shirt or you never wore this one skirt, ask yourself is there a reason why you're not wearing it? Is it too short? Is it not really that professional? Does it show too much cleavage? Whatever the reason is. If there's a way for you to easily fix that but maybe wearing like a shirt underneath it or maybe wearing tights underneath it, then maybe that's a gap in your wardrobe to fill. If not, it might just be best to get rid of that item. Also figure out why you do keep wearing the same things over and over again. I recently got rid of all of uh, my white clothing, which is only like two shirts, and I got rid of my white bedding and my white towels because I've had them for several years and no matter how much I bleed, they still have stains or like um, whatever it is. So I switched out my comforter for one that's yellow and I switched out my towels for dark green ones. And that also means I can wash those things more often and I don't have to worry so much about stains. And I just get white things dirty way too fast. Another reason I wear leggings and basically jeggings that look like pants all the time is because I sit funny all the time. I hardly ever use my couch or my bed. I sit on the floor at my place, at friends' places. Um, I like to have freedom of movement and if there's anything where I feel constricted in or I feel like I can't really like stretch in, I notice I never wear those things. Uh, I realize it's okay to repeat outfits. Those that don't matter don't mind, and those that mind don't matter kind of thing. And even though my wardrobe's pretty small, I still kind of wear the same things on repeat anyways. I'm just kind of mindful if I know I'm going to be spending like two days out of the week with the same group of people, I'll make sure it's not the same outfit those two days, but I'll just switch it up if that makes sense. You know what I'm trying to say. And realize that maybe your work clothes or some of the clothes you just wear around the house don't really have to completely reflect their style. They just have to serve a purpose and serve it well. Your work clothes don't have to represent who you are on a deep personal soul connection level. They're just clothes. They get the job done and that's okay. And then at the end of the day, imagine if you only had 30 things in your closet and just all of the clutter that would be gone from it right now if that's all you had. And it's such a good feeling. Whenever I clean out my closet, I take most things out and I slowly put things back and I look at it. And as I'm putting things in, I'm like, okay, this is like the perfect amount of stuff. What can I get rid of? So I actually only have this amount of things. Having less clothes makes your day-to-day -day life easier, stress-free. And I used to have a lot more clothes. It was so annoying because I would wake up and I would just be like starting my day feeling overwhelmed and annoyed with all the clothes and the options that I had to have. 
and now I just get dressed and then I do whatever else is going on with my day. I did make a Facebook group called Real With Less. I will put a link down in the bottom if you want to join it. I don't really post on it very much. It's just a place for you guys to share your decluttering journeys and that's just a space I made for you guys if you want to use it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You'll hear from me soon. Bye.